Cardinal is honored on Capitol Hill for his fierce criticism of China's communist regime. Joseph Zen is the retired bishop of Hong Kong. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvi talked to him about the award, also given to St. John Paul II. He's a modern St. Paul. He's been such a prophetic, clear voice for so long. 87-year-old Cardinal Joseph Zen brings that voice to Congress. We are only anxious, worried. Zen warned the Vatican against striking a deal with communist China. At stake is the Chinese government's demand to have a say in the selection of Catholic bishops. Supporters say the deal will unite China's underground and state churches. We don't yet know because everything is secret. We have just uh, uh, the knowledge of a secret deal and nothing else, but there is so much confusion nowadays. Uh, I, I think nobody is able to make assessment. Historian and Catholic Lee Edwards is also waiting. I think we really have to sort of wait and see, hopefully pray to make sure the right thing is going to come out of it. But I think the skepticism expressed by Cardinal Zen is where we should be today. Edwards is the founder of the Victims of Communism Memorial Foundation. The group is honoring Zen for standing up for human rights, religious liberty, and political freedom. The U.S. Ambassador for International Religious Freedom tells me the needs in China are great. The regime is saying, look, okay, we really don't trust religion, and so we want to sinocize everything. We want to make it fit China. But in most cases, that means you can't practice the faith as you know it to be true and, and see fit to do. They're shutting down churches. They're locking up Muslims. They're locking up Christians. Now, Cardinal Zen says it's up to everyone to help Catholics in China. I hope that uh, uh, the faithful ones pray for, uh, for our church. At the Capitol, Jason Calvi, EWTN News Nightly.